I have to go look up the date. <laughs> October 19, 2012. Uh, last night was a terrible night. I could barely breathe. The, uh, we've had a three-day heat wave which broke last night and all this humid fog came in and started to drizzle and it stayed hot all night. And I can barely breathe. We don't have health care in the U.S. anymore unless you're very wealthy and can afford to pay for it. I can't afford to pay for it, so I just have to suffer through it. And um, so this is going to be a very short video. I've had a lot of trouble with trying to get videos up lately. The last one, the end of it got cut off for some reason. I don't know why they do that. Let's go right to the news. I'm watching a video by Helen Caldicott. She puts out videos on her series New Horizon, I believe it is. She is interviewing, well, let me just go show you. Okay, this is her, the video, Helen Caldicott. Okay, it's a long video, but it's really good. It's 56 minutes, roughly, and you can see how far along I am. Okay, I'm going to put the link of that video in the description on Pink Barrio. So just go to the uh, 19th of October in the archives in uh, Pink Barrio or on the main page if before the end of October, and you'll see the link there to this very video. They're absolutely right about Obama. Anybody thinks that Obama is anything but a corporatist. They're crazy, and he's not about to change. None of the corporatist politicians are about to change. This video goes back into history and the environmental movement and the oil uh, movement and the solar panel and wind panel movement and what's been happening with that. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Let's just go right over and see how many barges there are in San Francisco Bay. Oh, as you can see, it's just too foggy to see anything. Last night I saw one barge in the bay, just as the heat was breaking, it, uh, before the fog came in. Because we're expecting quite a gas hike here in California, as of last night it hadn't shown up yet, but they're expecting a dollar and a half increase per gallon in the next uh, days or week. Uh, let's go down and see what the expensive and inexpensive gas stations prices are now. Inexpensive gas station and expensive gas station. And, it, and of course we have to go see what Brent Crude is doing. And the heat and humidity is becoming as bad as it is in North Carolina or Louisiana or even Florida. It's, it's suffocating today. So, uh, Brent crude started at 112.5, which is quite a bit lower than last time. It was up in almost 116. And straight lined it, did a little dribbly, and went shooting straight up to 113. Dribbly, straight line, went up to 113.2, and that was the high point for the day. And then it even when it's, it just went off a cliff because Wall Street is going off a cliff. They've lost over 200 points on, on the Dow Jones, so of course Brent crude futures are following the same pattern. Um, after it got down to 110.5, it dribbled and um, it looks like it's about 110.2 or so, but it's still falling. Last time I was here, we had a dog issue, remember? Um, that was the last video. So let me show you these lovely morning glories here in the mist. They're extraordinarily pretty. They're more purple than what we're seeing here. <laughs> 